What is going on guys? This is Ben here. We are once again bringing you another Clash Royale card opening video. Really excited for today's video. We're once again opening up the guaranteed legendary, the giant hobby box here with 48 packs today once again. A lot of you seem to like the openings. Definitely leave a like if you guys enjoy them. Uh, I know it's a little bit different from just gameplay stuff. Originally I was going to open up a deck strategy, or not open up. I was going to make a deck strategy video today, but I'll save that one for tomorrow. And also you might see a Brawl Stars video on the channel, but I also am giving away the full common set. So there's actually 21 commons in this and I'm giving away a winner to two of them, or I'm giving away two winners of that messing up my words here i'm going to pick two winners from my twitter to give away the full common set of 21 clash cards it's the entire common set that's in here because we're missing a few cards from the live game that are in there now because obviously these cards are probably printed before so if you want to check out the twitter enter the giveaway uh i've given away eight so far so this time we'll do two but i also ma'am uh if you want some clash cards i'm selling some on ebay too link will be in the description i sell a bunch of Yu-Gi-Oh cards i open a bunch of Yu-Gi-Oh cards i play Yu-Gi-Oh. so that's why i love card games i love collecting cards uh right now i think i only have the common stuff listed but without further ado we have a lot of awesome pulls we have so many legendaries so far hopefully we get an awesome numbered card we're still going to continue the hunt for the gem foil legendary uh that is going to be a, a tall task, a tall order for sure to get that gem foil. Uh, we've pretty much pulled that. Seems like a. I thought I got like okay, go, that threw me off. I thought I got like three elite barbarians there. Um, but yeah, so I'll continue the giveaways as long as you guys want to see them and you guys want to see the card opening videos and the hunt for them. Because like I said, I know it's a little bit different from the normal openings. We got an epic. All right, I think it's mm, that might be my first time getting the rage. So, at least we didn't have to wait too long. I'll throw the violets over there. Didn't have to wait too long to get the first epic there. Uh, other than that though, I just really enjoy opening packs. I know you probably can tell. Uh, I love opening Yu-Gi-Oh packs, love opening Pokemon packs, love opening these packs. So it's cool to share that experience for, with you guys. And as long as you guys enjoy seeing them, continue to do it while we hunt for the, the gem foil. Because honestly, the gem foil is one in 17,500 packs. If you get the legendary, because you guys know how much legend you basically get one legendary in a 48 card box that just shows you how rare that is and then on top of that there's only one like once you get those gem foils there's only one of them in the world so i want to own a card that's only one of them is made in the entire world i think that'd be so cool we got an indigo cannon uh i don't know other than that still hunting for a lot of the legendaries um these packs sometimes man they just rip so weird there we go then the still hunting for a few epics i still haven't got a pekka i mean like come on show me the pekka man i got the spear goblin for legendary today i want to hunt for so so far we've had the the log the electro wizard uh and i want to hunt for the princess that's what i want to get and we got the ice wizard too forgot about that one we got an indigo there ice spirit so the reason why I'm going a little bit quicker, but you can just see how fast the common stacks pile up. And I have so many full sets of commons now, so I'll give a few away. Uh, like I said, they're selling a few on eBay. I still have a ton of the cards to list and whatnot. Ooh, we got something. Is it an epic? There's... It is an epic baby dragon. All right. Sorry, it was throwing me off. I saw too much. I saw a lot of shiny. Usually, one thing, the best tip I can give you for trading cards. Usually, the more shiny it is, the more rare it is. Usually, the cooler looking it is, <laughs> and the and with that, I guess, the more expensive it is. But that's just typically how it goes uh, with trading cards. And I don't know. There's across all the cards, there's so many different rarities. Each game or card game has its own rarity name. So we got something here, though. I think it is a blue common. <sighs> And we did. We got a blue common cannon. Checking that right there. So this one is 142 out of 250. So I would have liked to got a little bit of a lower number, but that is what it is. I think this is our second blue common card. The only numbered card that we like, or I guess the only numbered common card color that we have not got yet is the green and and the red, if we're being honest. Cause the but the red is like basically on the same rarity as like a gem foil because only one of the red common card exists in the world so if we pull a red common card i'm gonna go nuts if we pull a gem foil legendary whew, that's incredible luck right there 
Got the indigo. So hopefully we just get lucky today. You know, you can never know. Uh, I haven't seen, like, no one's been tweeting me. Like, oh, this person pulled a gem foil. I've seen someone have, has pulled the, I've seen people pull the red common card. But I'm not, like I said, I want to keep it kind of like a, like, I, I don't want to actively search out what they look for. Because I want to see it firsthand experience, like, oh, this is what a gem foil looks like. I, I want to save that and just appreciate how it looks in person without, like, spoiling it for myself first. Kind of like, kind of like if you, well, I know some of, some people actually do enjoy this. It's very odd. Some people in, another, sorry, I see the shiny. Get ready there. We got another epic double balloon. I think it's my first, that's, I think that is my first balloon. So, cool, cool there. Let's I'll put the rares rare off to the side. But yeah, what I was getting at, some people do enjoy, like, you know how spoilers come out, whether it be for a TV show, a movie, um, it's whatever. There are people out there that love, like, just spoiling it for people. And people that love, like, reading spoil, like, watching or reading the spoilers before they go to the movie or read the book or watch a show or whatever. There's people that, like, that, like, that enjoy getting spoiled before they go to it. I don't. I'm the person that likes to keep it, like, I don't really know much about it. Yeah, maybe I'll, like, watch a preview of, like, say it's a movie, I'll watch the preview. And I won't really look too much into it, though. Like, I want to keep it my mind open I don't want to have like oh the, the main character dies at the end and just be like oh well that's kind of ruins the movie I don't want to go see it so that's how I want to that's how I am with this gem foil here I don't want to see it unless I'm the one pulling it but if, it ha if I happen to see it eh, it is what it is but how are you guys on that are you do you guys like things getting spoiled are you a spoil fanatic do you do you like reading spoilers before do you not uh, do you just like keeping an open mind? Some you could say the same thing with updates. Like you guys know how sometimes there's leaks and whatnot that come for Clash Royale or any mobile game or a game in general. It's a leak for the game, and it spoils kind of like the update. I guess some people think of like sneak peeks like that. Maybe no one watch. Some people don't watch the sneak peeks because they want to experience the update firsthand and just go to, go into it with an open mind. So what, what side of the coin are you on? I'm on the one that normally. I don't like getting like spoilers and sp I don't actively seek out spoilers but if it happens it happens and I'll still go to, I'll still read it still go still experience it but it dampers the ex like it, it dampers the excitement I guess is what I'm trying to get at but this is my thought how are you guys on it you guys the one that always try to spoil it for other people are you the people that like oh I'm going to see spider-man Three. Let's pick a random movie. Or I'm gonna see spoil. Oh, this one's a good one. I'm gonna go see the new Avengers movie. Oh, did you know that this, this, and this person and everyone dies? <laughs> I'm not gonna spoil it. I don't want to. I'm literally talking about it. But yeah, are you like one of those people that like reply to the tweet or you tell your friend they're talking about it? Oh, I'm gonna see this and you're like, oh, did you know that this happens to this person? <laughs> oh gosh. Let me know what what kind of person you are and be honest about it. I wanna. I wanna know. This this is my first misprinted pack. Well, it happens a lot in Yu-Gi-Oh where some cards are like upside down. I say usually like that means oh that might be a lucky pack. You might get something good, but so far nothing. So we can expect maybe the legendary and a one more numbered card. <sighs> Just an ab. Ooh, all right. First time seeing the handsome man there. The handsome bowler, alright. We'll take it. So this is what to say. We haven't got a like an epic or anything in a long time. This this pack is really giving me issues here. Sorry for just rambling on and tr like trailing off topic or just talking about I don't know, nothing really pertaining to the cards. I'm sorry. It happens sometimes we got the archer. I don't know. That's how the, my videos usually go. Get on one topic, go off on a trail. Some people, some of you guys like it, some of you hate it. It's just me being me. We got a Violet Arrow. All right, so we're down to like over half the box already. The one numbered card. If we're gonna get a number card, I want like a. Sh <clears throat> we have every new rarity. That looks amazing. 
So 64 out of 99, we have completed the set for the commons except for the except for the rarest rare where there's only one of them, the red. So this is, yeah, 84 out of 99. Dang, these Dragon Shield sleeves, man, are hard to get the cards in. There we go. So our two number cards, I'll be right back. So we almost have all colors of the rainbow. So it goes, indi or it goes violet, indigo, blue, green, yellow, orange, and we're missing the red. So that's for commons. If we get all the commons, then we have the logo shield foil, obviously the legendaries, the crown chest foil. We get some more blues and whatever. So we still are the only like card foils that we are missing now. I think the green looks the coolest, just being honest. But the only card foils that we are missing are the the red common and now a gem foil. We've got all the foils except for the gem foil. And I don't know how, because the red foil is one in every 12,000 packs. The gem foil legendary is one every 17,000. And now if we get like a gem foil uh, epic, or rare that is one in every 12,024 for an epic or rare gem foil so we might be searching for a while but it's cool that we've completed like the set except for the incredibly rare ones now Got pretty much all of the rarities so I like that and I like the green one how it looks a lot almost got all of them so we got the zap here so 25 30, 99, 250. Kind of cool if you, if you ask me. Then we got, we got our legendary. This is our legendary pack here. The legendary ice parrot. I want it to be three elixir. Cause I want the princess. Come on, come on, three elixir, three elixir. Three elixir, yes. We have options here. It might be the bandit. It might be the Ice Wizard again. Could be the Princess. I'm kind of nervous here. Be the Princess. Be the... Yes! We got the Princess, man! Let's go! Let's freaking go, dude! The one legendary that I was searching for. We got the two OGs now. Kind of shaking a little bit here in excitement. Come on, like these dragon seals, man. It's so hard to put the card in. Got the princess. So far, let, I'll let you guys be the judge. What do you think is the coolest legendary that we have pulled? Can't believe we pulled the princess, man. So we got the ice wizard here, the princess. I think the okay. I see. I feel like I say this every time. Maybe it's just brand new. Every time I pull a new legendary, I think it looks the coolest. I don't know. I think the princesses looks amazing. What do you guys think looks the best? Let me know in the comments. Can't believe we pulled the princess. That's one we were calling for. Usually it does not go like that. Usually it does not go where, oh yeah, you get this card. So now we have, we have a lot of packs left. And we've, seems as though we've pulled the good cards. Cause let me, let me put this into perspective for you guys. So we still have like this many, I don't want to hurt the cards, but we have that big stack of cards left. I think that is over 12. Ah, <sighs> uh, we might, that'd be like, I haven't seen it yet. I don't know if it's possible to get more than two legendaries out of 48 packs. I don't know if the ratio holds true, but so far the ratio that we've been going at for the boxes, is like two numbered cards and a legendary. So I don't know if you can do it better than that. So I'm gonna go a little quick here, just to see like, if it's possible to get three numbered cards and a leg two legendaries, got cards, okay. Saw the shiny, uh, to get like more than two numbered cards and 48, like a giant hobby box, I guess, and one more, like, more than one legendary. Gotta test the ratios. So, so far it's held true though, where it's, Per giant hobby box, two numbers and a legendary. So, come on, Let's see if we can pull through here. Get another. Nope. We have quite a few packs left too. My goodness. 
maybe like I because uh, this time around I didn't open up each stack on its own I just took the top cards off the like some like I would go left to right left to right throughout the stacks of packs okay ooh there we go that is the first prince pull right there nice we're getting some epics that we don't have that's what's really cool though with a little mustache on there we'll take it got the got the uh the heel so now we're getting down there now this is more more what what it should look like i guess because we have five packs left at the indigo come on please don't be that set ratio where you only get two numbered cards and a, and a legendary i want it to be another chance to get something more than that in a box but it's not looking likely down to three uh, that one's just a normal common but i'm gonna show you the stack of commons this is why i'm doing the giveaways so many just still there so second to last pack dude or no this is the last pack seems as though the ratio is holding true so if you buy a box out of 70 or like a normal hobby box it's a 70 dollar one you can have a chance to get a legendary and you're probably going to get at least one numbered card and then if you buy the giant hobby box you're pretty much going to be guaranteed to get two numbered cards and a legendary so the only difference is with the 70 dollar one you're not guaranteed that legendary, but you are guaranteed the numbered. So, I don't know, we got a princess though. Our epics are racking up here. And then we have the all colors for the commons, except for the red one, which is obviously the most rare. So we're still on the hunt for the gem foil. This is the stack of common cards right here. Probably make a bunch of sets with them. So, giveaway, it's in the Twitter. Let me know if you guys want to seek the continuation of the hunt for the gem foil legendaries because I'm actually going to have to place another order for the booster boxes or the hobby boxes to continue the opening. So let me know. I'll gauge it by you guys if you guys want to see it some more. So leave a like on the video, comment, subscribe. Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully soon if we get that gem foil legendary if you guys want to see it. But thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys later.